G'day folks, Aaron here. Today we are on the water and I'm going to be testing the uh, the sail sup configuration. We uh, we have forecasted winds up to around 8 knots, but it's not going to get here until 10 o'clock this morning. I've just put in, it's about 8 o'clock now, so we've got a couple of hours to float around and go for a paddle. There is a faint breeze now, if you look around we can see that. So um, let's see if we can't put these sails out, the sail out, and see how we go. This is why I love a sup that can be a kayak and hopefully we can get some wind and effective sailcraft is that I can stand up, stretch my back, I want to I can paddle, I can furl the sail away, and then when I want to sail, I just unfurl the sail, blow the dagger board and the rudder, and off I go. And even a double kayak paddle makes a an adequate stand-up paddle. Mm. Ah, beautiful. So, got the coffee. I think the breeze is slowly building. You see behind me there's just a little ripple in the water. Hopefully it um, gets to that six to eight knots we're looking for so we have a nice sail back. So we just left the sailing club. It's uh, quarter to ten, and we should have about eight knots of breeze by now. So whilst we're waiting for the wind to kick in, I'll give you an update on what's happening here in Australia. So particularly um, New South Wales and Sydney, which is where I live just north of Sydney in a place called the Central Coast. Beautiful spot, as you can see, all around me. But um, we're just going into more lockdowns after lockdowns after lockdowns. So I need another project. I mean, this is just about done, which I'm excited with. And I'm gonna be testing another sail hopefully soon, which is pretty cool. I'll give you more details about that, but the, the new sail is in the works and coming. Uh, but I need another project. So I haven't told my wife this yet, but my next project is gonna be building a Richard Woods Janus 22 catamaran in the garage. Claire, if you're watching this, you're hearing it right now for the first time and no doubt I'm going to cop some grief. But that's my next project. And I've done some measurements in the garage and I can stretch it out to 23 feet. So it'll be an expanded um, Richard Woods Janus 22 Catamaran. Let's get ourselves rigged up here. Make sure there's no entanglements on the stern. Now all we need is a little bit of help. There we go, keep in tension on the furling line. All the sails filling, that helps. Alright, sail is out. See what she can do. Because the sail has no boom, you can't go dead downwind. You need to have some pressure in the sail, otherwise it'll just flop around. Yeah, it'll lean over a bit.
All right, thanks for watching guys. That was super fun. Uh, I'm so glad I spent a bit of time over the last four or five weeks converting the sail, converting the sup into a uh, sail sup. So it still paddles like a sup, paddles like a kayak, and now I can sail it and sail it upwind too. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments and suggestions on uh, here on YouTube. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, as I said, the next build is going to be building a 23 foot catamaran in my garage. It just fits with like a half a minute to spare. So until then, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.